I'm Lady Asuka and today I want to show you how to use the accessories menu in Vroid Studio for your models. At first glance the accessories menu may seem very straightforward, but I wanted to also talk about a few misconceptions people have. First, you can't import or export anything into this category. You can't even save any of your created items beside their textures. Once you delete the accessory here, it's gone and you have to start again from scratch. I really hope that this video will be outdated pretty fast because not being able to even save these assets is really horrible and makes it impossible to reuse the same asset on another model without creating it all over again. But enough of the limitations, let's look into what's actually possible. Let's say your model just got finished and you want to add their final touches. Let's start first with the glasses. You see here that we have an option for thick and thin glasses. This is a preset and can't really be changed beside a few details, so pick the one that you want to go for already here. First, we have 10 pre-made shapes to choose from, which are the same for both thick and thin categories. Shape number 9 makes kind of a fool of the whole thick and thin selection since it will always come out thin. So let's pick frame shape number 4 here as an example because, as you may see, the glasses don't really fit onto my avatar's face at the moment. We have the resting on nose slider to correct that a bit. Also, you can move the frame slightly forward if you think it obstructs any of your facial features, for example. Looks easy enough, doesn't it? Apart from the sliders, we also have some other options to play with in terms of placement. You see these three cycles here on the left? which are, if you ever played a bit with the other categories in Vroid, for movement around the X, Y and Z axis, and conveniently made visible through the colored arrows. The second option is the rotation option, which lets you rotate the glasses around. Let me demonstrate. May look completely useless until I do this. As you see, the glasses don't even have to sit on the nose. The last option on the left is the resize option. Why resizing if it looks so good already? It actually enables you to play more with the form as well and lets you squish the frame into all three directions. With CTRL plus Z you can redo any of these actions as long as you don't leave the category, so don't worry if you're messed up in between. Now we have one last thing to consider and that is actually the texture. Sure, you could just use the color picker like this for example. Or you could go to Edit Texture above here and change the texture there. This is the only thing you can actually save here. So if you got a really cool texture, don't forget to export it or save it somewhere externally. This is how the glasses texture looks like. And like with all textures in Vroid Studio, you can draw anything you want on here. A little heads up though, if the texture is black from the color picker, you won't be able to see the actual mesh anymore or the guidelines. So picking something other than black for customization is advised. You also see that whenever we leave the edit texture, that there is no prompt to save the item as there would be if we do the same for clothes or hair, or basically any other texture. I actually faced a kind of bug here at this point, where I wasn't able to pick any other texture color anymore from the initial menu. What I did then was to just delete the black completely, which gives you an invisible frame. But even better, it actually enables me to show you the lenses of these glasses, which are a separate texture. And I know what you're thinking. That means I can create shades, right? Close enough. If you actually want to just make these lenses black or dark, no problem. Their mesh to draw on is right here at the bottom. And voila, dark lenses. Let's add a white frame by drawing over the frame mesh and there we go. Under look, you could enable the outlines as well to make them stand out a bit more. And since we don't want them to sit on the face, because they would completely obstruct the view of your eyes, we can instead put them on the head. That looks super cool, doesn't it? Now onto our ears. The second accessory here are the furry ears, like cat, wolf, rabbit, you name it. Hmm, but in the preview it only says cat and rabbit. Where can I find the rest? And the answer is... These are hidden within the sliders, so let's add a pair of cat ears. With the tip roundness slider you can already see how we can change the shape completely. 
And if you make them smaller or bigger, we would have a completely different animal already. Now we got four different base shapes for our ears. One that is tilted downwards. One that increased the size of the ears to make the ears more pointy. The third is more of a horse donkey style and the last one puts the ears closer together. As usual, you can mix and match these shapes to get your perfect ear shape. And don't forget the options to the left where you can still move the ears around, rotate them or squish and stretch them. Like this for example. After you got your base form, you can decide if you want to add inner fluff to these ears or not. I personally don't really like this option that much because it seems to look unnatural, whatever you do, and is clipping through the ears most of the time. But if you like them, you can use the fewer volume sliders until they fit with your ear shape. And last but not least, the texture. Feel free to add whatever you need to customize them to your liking. Want some white patterns on the ears? Let's start drawing! We create a new layer to the left and add in whatever shape we like onto the ear part. Don't forget to activate the mirror option to get these alterations on both sides. Or if you are in for a more natural look, you can put these in manually on each side. Once you're finished and you're happy with the texture, you can export all the layers of the texture and thus saving it for future use or sell it online. Just right click on the layer you want to export and select export. To see how your avatar turned out, let us export this one and test drive it in VC Face. Remember to disable the lead transparent meshes and combine hair mesh if you're going to apply HANA to later or use this avatar in Unity. As you see, in one of the latest updates, the ears actually got their own bones and thus come with a bit of wiggle physics. Have fun with the accessories and let's hope that Vroid adds a lot more options in the future. See you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful day.